Yes. Yes. They welcomed anyone willing to come by and lend a hand. So we ask you to help remove the pallet and try not to leave any pieces behind. Both volunteers and conservation organizations came together to start building a new oyster reef and living shoreline. The reason? To protect the Pelican Point shore on Mobile Bay from further damage. When the weather's bad here, you see really high wave energy. And those waves crash on the shore and they eat away the shore. They tear chunks of the shore away. It's not just the weather that has taken a toll on the shoreline. Organizers say it's development, dredge and fill activities, and environmental dangers from the Deepwater Horizon oil spill that have worn down the shore. They are building an oyster reef, piece by piece, slowly assembling the parts needed to reestablish the shoreline to rebuild an ecosystem. The belief is, if the bay is healthy, the people and the economy around Mobile Bay can do nothing but benefit. I think the biggest thing about doing this restoration project, this particular one, but all of them along Mobile Bay, is that we know that restoring our environment restores our economy, it restores our community. That is what truly brings us together, makes us whole, and makes us resilient to the next disaster that could come along. The 500 plus here over the weekend got the reef started. It will take another day of work in May to get it built and let nature begin to heal the bay. I'm meteorologist Jen Carfagno.